The hot bat Eddie Murray swung last season had turned about as cold as the shoulder he gave the media. And when he refused to play first base, he was banished to the bench and then Baltimore. Well, we're going to miss it. You know, there's, there's no question about it. I think uh, Eddie's a great guy, you know, and a uh, great teammate. You know, uh, well, a lot of people, we learn a lot with him. And uh, I think uh, it doesn't matter how, how many years you play in this game, you still want to go over there and enjoy yourself. And uh, last couple of weeks was a real tough on him, you know, and uh, I'm glad it happened. This was a trade which had to happen. In 19 years, Murray never had less than 75 RBIs in a season, a major league record he shares with Hank Aaron. But with only 45 this season, Murray had become as unproductive as he was unmanageable. So, exit Eddie, enter Jeremy Burnitz. He led the American Association in slugging and RBIs last season and led Cleveland with two home runs on Sunday. Well, up to this point in the year and the limited amount of at-bats that I've gotten, I've uh, done a good job. I feel really good at the plate. Had a big game yesterday, so I feel good. So does Kent Merker. He comes to Cleveland desperate to get back on track after never getting untracked in Baltimore. I started off slow. I got sick in spring training and, and really wasn't full go from day one, and I tried to rush into it, and somehow through the whole thing, my mechanics got real, real messed up. So messed up, he was 3-6 and six with an alarming 7.76 ERA. But to bring it down, he's willing to get sent down to AAA Buffalo. Absolutely. I mean, I think I need that. I mean, it's, it's, I don't view it as a demotion. I'm, I view it as a spring training, kind of a mid-season spring training. And, you know, if, if I don't know what exactly my role is going to be here, but if they want me to start, you know, I, I haven't pitched a lot in the last, last month, so... Just physically, I need to go down there and be able to air it out a little bit. Well, they say everything comes in threes, and nowhere is that more true right now than with the Indians pitching staff. First, they trade for Kent Merker. Then Greg Swindell comes off the disabled list. And now Dennis Martinez tells me he'll also come off the DL on Wednesday. Rob Sinclair for Sportsline.